This is a 3D printed model of the UFO that's in the Jerry Anderson live action TV show called UFO, which was first aired in about 1970. Um, the files came from Ian Hughes's Patreon group. I'll put a link at the end of the video. Just for scale, it's about 180 millimeters across the base and the it's about 180 millimeters high uh, so that's about seven freedom units by seven free freedom units okay so i've modified the files to fit this 160 rpm gearbox and um, a flexible filament pinion gear runs on a ring gear that's inside the housing that holds all the fans at uh, all the fins so the gearbox basically fits in here there's a bearing at the top and the bottom there's a three inch lazy susan the outer bodies were printed in transparent PETG unfortunately it's not very transparent um, I guess if I had a resin printer, I'd give it a crack in clear resin, but I don't have a resin printer. So we'll get it going. It um, runs from a standard 5 volt battery pa uh, plug pack and goes through a pulse width modulator speed controller that we got from eBay for like $9. Um, in hindsight, I could have just ran it direct from the USB drive, uh, USB plug pack. For that slow speed there's a bit of gearbox noise there luckily as it comes up to speed all of that's taken away so i'll just turn the light on or another light on to get a bit better view but it'll become a lot more glarier Okay, this, the whole uh, UFO sits on the base, which is roughly modelled from a uh, scene it's in one of the episodes where the UFO is flying really close to the water and picking up some waves. Um, it's on about a five degree angle to the base, just because it looked a bit better on a jaunty angle. So you got the speed controller there. Sure. Standard USB lead, a plug pack, 5 volt plug pack. It's drawing a little bit less than 160 milliamps, so that's next to nothing. So I've removed the top dome. And you can see there, that's a, uh, the top bearing there. And as I said before, the lower part has a three inch Lazy Susan in it. We just get it spinning again. So the center base is stationary. Bottom transparent base here is stationary as well. 